Greetings chosen ones, peace and blessings to you all. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you're out there being more than conquerors, doing great things out in your communities, for your friends, for your families, all for the glory of God. So I watched a video where someone tries out this AI Jesus, well let's say AI fake Jesus, and it's this thing on Twitch called Ask Jesus. And apparently it's an AI program. But the fact that this thing exists at all shows us what a sorry state the world is in right now. Because as any believer knows, when we become believers, Jesus Christ dwells within us. You know, through the act of praying, through the act of studying the word, we connect and commune with Christ within us. Our bodies are the temple. But in a lot of ways, this is just a continuation of what religious institutions have done. You know, it's another spiritually dead false facade that lost people can go to for a quick fix of temporary false hope. You know, as I watched some of this video, it became apparent that there's absolutely zero depth to any of it, any of the answers that were given to the questions that were asked. It was all kind of airy-fairy, fluffy answers about love, forgiveness, but no real, no real meat on the bones, so to speak. Nothing really about the death, burial and resurrection in a meaningful way that people can actually understand. And really, I think that is the whole point of something like this. It's really just to keep people cut off from God. And we're beginning to see more and more of this. We're beginning to see AI-led church sermons and things like that. So this is something that's becoming more prevalent. But you have to ask the question, what kind of people want to engage with something like this rather than actually have a real relationship with the living God? You know, we are living in an age of, you know, TikTok attention spans, which is like less than that of a goldfish. And really, it's like fast food spirituality, you know. It fills a temporary void, but it's devoid of any real nutrients. And in the long term, it's actually harmful and pretty much deadly. So I went through the comments section on this video and looked at some of the comments and, um, And what was apparent is you've got those who can see exactly what's going on and those that have no clue. It's just another form of entertainment. A lot of sort of fluff that tickles ears, sounds good. But nothing really about why mankind needs a saviour. But then I guess it's appealing to a particular sort of audience that just wants their ears tickled, you know, for five minutes a quick distraction from something when they're on a cigarette break from work or whatever they're doing, you know. And I actually collected a few of the more interesting comments, like this one, for instance. For me personally, I think it makes religion more accessible by talking to someone instead of being told to read a book. Well, a relationship with Christ isn't about religion. It's nothing to do with religion. And then he goes on to say... It's more accessible by talking to someone. Well, you're not talking to someone. It's an AI program. And in an earlier video of mine, I talked about the possibility that AI is actually ghosts in the machine, demonic entities. But, you know, it really highlights how lost people are. You know, this is what constitutes talking to someone these days, not a face-to-face conversation, not, not fellowship with other believers or finding people who believe and actually talking face to face with them they're talking to an AI program and a pretty shallow one at that and so in the second comment here we got this is the Jesus I was looking for my whole life this really shows and highlights the psychological and spiritual state of a lot of people it's really not good Now, of course, we don't even know how many of these comments are even real. You know, YouTube is riddled with chatbots, fake profiles, AI systems, just like everything else online. But, you know, assuming it's real, we're going to look at it from that perspective because we know there are people out there who do think like this. 
you know, but on the flip side, we have people that can really see what this is totally about. You know, people with discernment and discernment only really comes through the Holy Spirit. AI totally dodged the hell question and same sex question. What he said was not biblical. Yep, absolutely. But that's the whole point. They only try and mock Jesus because they're afraid. Yep, spot on. This is the most demonic thing I've ever seen. Absolutely. What he is trying to say is that AI is God. Yep, and it's become the God of a lot of people now. Or it is becoming the God of a lot of people. You know, the AI thing is being pushed more and more. And part of the whole controlled demolition that we are seeing in society now, you know, with corrupt politicians and all the rest of it, the exposure of all of that is by design. So they can usher in an AI controlled system. Okay, so there's some interesting responses to this one that said, this is the Jesus I was looking for my whole life. Now, three replies down. Obviously, we clearly have a believer here. It says, really, the best Jesus you've been looking for your whole life is a fake one? This love and compassion only Jesus is not the true Jesus of the Bible. Yep, absolutely. Jesus preached about repentance, hell, consequences, the coming judgment at the end of the age. So he replies, I'd be following this AI Jesus more than the Jesus the pastors and priests tell me describe with their oozing hypocrisy. This AI Jesus doesn't discriminate. And again, yeah, with the church system, the religious institutions, yeah, you do have agents of the enemy calling themselves pastors and priests, and it's all by design is to turn people away from a relationship with the real living God. Yeah, and unfortunately, they've done their job very well. So in saying this AI Jesus doesn't discriminate is absolutely right as well, because this AI fake Jesus doesn't save anyone. So again, the reply to that was, as long as you understand that this Jesus will not be able to save you, this one has a sugar-coated message, sadly, but we all have free will. Yep, sadly for a lot of people, yep, we do have free will. It's a false Jesus, yes. So unfortunately they do. Let's talk about free will. But I can't just leave them to it without warning. Yeah, and that's what we do, you know. That's what we do as believers. We try and warn people. You know, we get called names, loony, backward, haters, bigots. You know, the, the usual stuff. But, you know, we have the eyes to see. You know, we've been, we've been gifted with discernment, gifted with the eyes to see. So we're going to try and warn people. We don't get any thanks for it, but we keep going anyway because we do it out of love. So I think I'll leave it there. So if you've enjoyed this video, please do leave me a like. Please do share this video with anyone you think would benefit from seeing it. Do consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already done so. And do leave me any comments below in the comment section. And I'll see you again on the next video. Bye bye for now.